guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is a little bit of a different style video. We're gonna be doing some upgrades here to the playroom and I thought I would bring you guys along with me and show you everything that we're going to be doing. You and I till the end. I have not done an upgrade in the playroom in a long time. I think the last time was this corner, but we are going to be continuing on with our farm theme in this back corner. Here we are. And I've got some really fun um, hands-on activities that the kiddos are going to hopefully love. So let me show you what my plan is. This video is not sponsored, but these were gifted from the company Wall Pops. They are chalkboard wallpaper panels that we're going to be putting on the doors in the back corner so I can do some fun seasonal chalkboard art. The kids can do some doodles down at the bottom. And I'm excited to get these up. I've had them for a long time, so it has just taken me a while to get to this project. But let me show you what else we're gonna be doing to that back farm wall. I am taking this idea from ASMR Playroom on TikTok. She is incredible, but we're going to be using these apples and these Velcro squares as well as these tomatoes to create an apple and tomato picking experience. So first we need to clear all of this out to give us some room to work. So let's do it. Oh, oh, it's magic or editing. Maybe one day we'll get an entire YouTube video where I don't sing. Maybe not though. It's a little dark in this corner. I'm sorry, I'm far away from the window, but the first thing I'm gonna to have to do is paint some type of vines for the tomatoes. The only paint I have is like kids crafting paint, so I can't see this going wrong at all. But as a reminder, this is not a DIY channel. Do not ever follow my how-tos because I don't know how to do anything. So To make the vines look like they have a little bit more like texture, I did take a gigantic Sharpie and add some lines. And then this is what the tomatoes are gonna look like. So they can be picked and replanted. And how stinking cute is that? I feel like they look really ridiculous, but I promise just bear with me. They will look like tomato plants hopefully soon. Um, we're gonna let that layer dry and while that dries, I think I'm going to work on the apple tree. This one's gonna be a super easy DIY and this would be a really fun addition to anybody's at home playroom. Like I said, ASMR playroom, my amazing friend has a beautiful, gorgeous playroom in her basement and this is one of the feature walls in there. So I'm really excited to borrow her idea and put it here in the playroom. I always get called out for not following directions. So I actually did read the back of this and it said to clean the surface, which I did with an all purpose cleaner that is also plant-based since we are in the playroom. Oh my gosh, I can't open this. And now we are going to open up the apples. Maybe. I am not sure why apples are always the faux fruit that looks the most like the real one. The kids in this playroom are constantly putting apples in their mouth. And I think it's because they're so realistic. Okay, these are a little bit shiny, but how cute. So I've got the um, hooks in the loops. We are just going to put the rougher side on the wall and the softer side on the apple. I truly do not think there is a easier DIY to do in the playroom, but I feel like it's gonna have a big punch and the kids are going to love it. And then after these are stuck for 15 minutes, we can test out the apple picking abilities and see if it really does work. Oh my gosh. It is so cute. It is now time to try to attempt to turn these into chalkboard walls. I have these huge sheets of 
chalkboard peel and stick from Wall Pops. Again, not sponsored, but thank you to Wall Pops for sending these to us here at the Playroom. I think the kids are gonna love them. Um, they came with a lot of instructions. You guys already know my thoughts and feelings on instructions. So I think we're just going to uh, dive right in. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, problem number one. These magnets will not come off. Oh. oh my gosh. But you ain't gazing on someone in denial because you want dollar bills right now. We are using magnet tiles to smooth it out as we go. But like, it's like low key working, guys. We're getting this to work. This is the part I'm most nervous about. Obviously, that looks amazing, and I'm really excited but this part now has to meet up. It has the doorknob, and um, I'm thinking this is uh, the part where we might lose it, but how good is it looking so far? I'm now going to attempt to use the X-Acto knife to cut around the doorknob. Um, do not use an X-Acto knife without parental supervision. Um, I have Tabitha here to be my parental supervision but I don't know who's her supervision. I would like to call this a success, but I think this door is gonna be a little bit harder. The knob is different and it's got this extra lip right here. So we'll see how this goes. But right now we're looking 50% good. We're like a five out of 10 here. I am so proud of how this turned out. It looks so cute. Let me give you a better look. So I'm going to write something special here and then the kids tomorrow will be able to draw whatever they want down there. So let me show you what I'm gonna draw. Ta-da! Okay, I did my best. I can't tell if these look like fidgets or I have no idea. But I wanted to draw a little thank you for one million on TikTok. And this was as good as my artistic abilities will allow. I think it looks cute though, and I really like how I turned how it turned out. So now the final step is cleaning this all up and putting everything back into place. So let's do the not fun part. Okay guys, it is finally done. I am looking at it all put together and it looks so cool. I'm so excited that we've got a couple more interactive areas for the children. And before I show you guys, let me remind you what it looked like before. to the playroom I was really working towards doing small upgrades that would make a big impact and that would create kind of a hands-on sensory activity for the children I am so excited to see how they react tomorrow morning and hopefully all of the tomatoes and apples do not get lost I don't know if I just made myself a bigger mess to clean or more hidden toys to find but either way I think they turned out so cute. But if you guys liked this type of video where I brought you along with me to attempt these DIY upgrades and you liked this video, I would like it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification icon situation guy right down there by the subscribe button so you get notifications every single time I post. But guys, it is late. It is time for me to go to bed, and it is also time for me to go wash my hands. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Bye!